What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at some of our favorite budget planes from last year. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia's up here taking a nap. We are the RC Sailors. Poor little Popeye is back at home today, but he'll get a walk tonight, we promise. Well, today we're at the airfield uh, to fly these four planes because we've been looking at some budget-friendly airplanes recently on the channel. We saw one for $20, we just did one for $60. Both were actually really great options. And I started thinking, you know, we really have quite the collection going of some of our favorite planes from last year. I thought it'd be fun to just do a quick test flight of each of them and see which one I kind of had the most fun flying and kind of revisit some of these planes all in one video. So you guys are getting a really good bang for your buck here with this video. These things we all tested individually. So if you fall in love with any of these for any reason, I have them all linked in the description box below and I'll do my best to link all the videos for the actual review videos we did on these two. There's some very different ones. We have some gliders, one with lights, one without, different prices. And then these, we have a nice name brand, Delta Ray. Then we have the XK520 VTOL. Not really doing a comparison or anything. We just wanna see what is the most fun to fly. So let's put them in the air and See what you guys think. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where are you going? All right, I think it's worth noting that th this is the XKA800, I think. A couple things. One is that the canopy uh, no longer, oh, something is going on there. <laughs> I think that was the wind. The canopy doesn't fit on here anymore. Um, that's fast with the wind because of a crash or something falling on it. Something happened, my canopy doesn't fit on anymore, but it still flies even without the canopy. I could get some hot glue and patch that up, but it doesn't really matter. Um, this was a really good budget plane. I remember it being like 50 or 60 bucks, something like that, and it had the snowflakes on it. You remember? Mm -hmm. I've had it in the garage, and oh my gosh, something over there keeps pushing me down. Wow, the wind is wild, 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 wild. Well, something did actually fall. A box fell on the tail of this and it got smashed over to like 45 degrees and I've just bent it back over and it's flying this well. So I wanted to start with this one because it's probably my, just because of the damage, <laughs> the damage it's been it. through. Uh, it's probably my least favorite now, but it still flies. And that's worth noting. That is definitely worth noting. So the poor all little these, thing. All these planes, all four, super durable. Super durable, yeah. All very good options for beginner plane. I mean, this thing would be fine if it hit something on its own, but no, I had to drop a big heavy box on it. So I think having said that, we'll bring it in. Oh, you know what? I, maybe I can do a loop really fast. Possibly I can do a loop into the wind. Let's do that really quickly and then I'll land it. Also, it's not really turning to the right very well. You notice every bit of my turns are to the <laughs> left. Full right makes it go straight right now. So let's see if I can do a loop. <laughs> nope. No, I cannot. Okay, time to land this one. And we're gonna, I think I'm gonna go to a VTOL next because of the wind. I'm hoping my last plane, you guys will be able to see the lights on it near the end of the day. Come on, baby. Okay, well, there you go. Oh my so, <laughs> tough plane, tough plane. Also guys, that snowflake plane had a three axis like gyro stabilization kind of thing going on. And this has some safe technology because this is the Horizon Hobby Delta Ray 1. One of my favorite little budget planes. It's a lot of fun to fly, very durable. It actually has Popeye teeth marks in it. It's so durable. <laughs> This one's this one's actually really fun to fly and you can fly almost as slow as that glider. I think it probably Very easy for me to say this one. I enjoy way more. I mean oh, and this one has the different levels the different modes Yes, so right now I'm hands-free right and watch I'll turn So it's like beginner mode beginner mode and I've let off the controls completely. I'm turning I've let off the controls completely. So this one is very easy to fly. It costs more than the other one. This is the most expensive of all of I them, right? I think so. Yeah. Most advanced though. Easiest yes. to fly. We can do some fun stuff with it. Like I can roll it. And yeah. And when I panic, I can go back down into easy mode. That's the cool thing about this plane is the level progression. So as you get better with flying, you can uh, I'm gliding. progress in your skills and get better and try harder maneuvers. I do really like the Delta Ray one. It's a, uh, it has that awesome box too. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I 
It's and if you, if you panic on those rolls that Nate just did, you can flip it back to beginner and it's gonna stabilize itself. Right, so here really I'm cool. kinda going crazy and then I just go into auto stable mode and it saves itself. I also turned during that. We'll do it one more time. Maybe I can do it a little closer. I'm just gonna get in close and then we'll do some kind of crazy move and then I'll throw the switch. Then I'll do some more advanced moves with it and we'll go to the next plane. So here we go, some fun advanced weird stuff and then I'm upside down and I threw the switch and I let off the controls and it levels off. Now, this plane would completely keep going in one direction if you don't turn it, but as long as you're just thinking, okay, I need to turn, you're okay. See, I'm hands-free. I can go turn, hands-free. I mean, it just completely auto levels. I'm gonna go to advanced mode and keep it in that mode now and just fly a little bit and have some fun. Little weird gusts of wind today, but sorry, not really. It's been a while since I've flown planes too. Yeah. See how quiet I am? Yep, you're focused. This is fun though. This is a fun, fun plane to fly. I mean, it, it, I forgot how this one just disappears on the camera. Yeah, yeah, the camera is, it's hard to follow. And I could be flying a little, a little bit closer. I love flying in the evening, don't you? Yes. The sun makes these planes look so good. Favorite time of day to fly. And there you go. Sorry, my just fault, like my that fault. Gone. But like I, have, I have such a wide uh, view compared to the camera, and so it doesn't actually disappear from me. <laughs> but uh, you gotta give Abby some credit. She's looking at a little, what, like two and a half inch little monitor. It's sun shining on it. Yeah. <laughs> One more little maneuver and then we'll just land it here. Oh, okay. Or crash. It's tough, it's a tough plane. That's another, that's a good thing. Okay, let's fly the next one. This is the XKX520 VTOL plane. VTOL means vertical takeoff and land, or, or land. Or landing. Or land. It depends on if you look at takeoff as one word or two. You ready? <laughs> yep. And plane and mode. Switch. So it takes off like a drone and then it flies like a plane. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I love it. And I, when I was doing the intro to this video, for some reason I thought the Delta A1 was a VTOL too. It no. is not. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like a VTOL though. I'm sorry. It looks like a VTOL though. Had to cough there. So this one has auto level two when you're in this mode. I can bank it all the way over and it won't go any farther than that. Keeps it auto level, I'm hands free, flying in this crazy wind. It even has a takeoff button. So in some aspects, this one might be easier to fly than the Delta Ray one. It's also worth noting this one has two brushless motors on it. Uh, slightly bigger battery, has a little more oomph and we should be able to do some pretty good stunts. So that's a nice basic little easy flyer. We go into 3D mode and we should be able to do some fun stuff with the, yeah, we can do all, I, I think this one can do flat spins. I just don't know if I can pull it off today. It's been a while since I've flown. It's really windy. You gotta give me some credit too. I'm jumping from plane to plane here. I'm not looking at instructions or <coughs> anything. And you're dying apparently. <coughs> yeah, something's got me coughing. <laughs> this might become a quiet video now. Knife edge, rolls very easily. Loops, of course, although they're far away. Death Valley touch and goes. <laughs> this is a fun, fun vehicle. Fun vehicle, watch, I'll throw the switch here. I'll do it coming the other way, it'll be easier on it. I like to go from stunt mode, as you're flying, right into drone mode, boom! Because you can just start hovering with it. Now how cool is that? It's very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Nate is <laughs> struggling. <laughs> this is a really fun plane. We did Real. this, I feel like it's been more than a year, but who knows really. A lot of people still ask about this. Yeah, hey, do you still like it? Do oh, you still yeah. Yeah, we do. Yes, yes we do. That's and why we still have it. This is going to be a hard vehicle for me to um, step away from. I, I need to move on to that last glider, but I want to keep flying this. It's small, it's compact. I, I really just like this thing a lot, but for the sake of this video, so it's not a 20 minute video, let's do a landing here. Nice! I should have crashed it. Okay, this is the WL Toys, I think F959 Sky King. This is a little glider plane with lights. And the lights look really good. Right now, 
yeah. way too bright of a day. Oh, you could kind of see him right there for a second. I was trying to give you a good shot. It's, you know, <clears throat> it's pretty early for a An night evening. plane. Yeah. I, I can see him just fine with right. my naked eye, but the camera just never does it justice. I'm trying to get a good angle. The green ones show up really well right now. So <clears throat> this one, I, you know what? All these planes serve a different purpose. As I, when I got these at the house, I thought this will be fun just to say what's my favorite out of each one. Now you don't know what to well, say, do you? I still have, yeah, I do. But this one would be definitely favorite for the night. I'm sorry for that porpoising, that's horrible. If I were flying at night, this would be the only option. I wouldn't want to fly any of the others because they don't have lights. So <laughs> flying for the day, this can sit right there at the bottom with the snowflake plane. <laughs> And for me, because I like a little bit more advanced maneuvers and stuff while I'm flying, I think that I would go with either the Delta Ray 1 or the XKX 520. I think the Delta Ray 1 would be slightly more beginner friendly, in other words, just a little bit more tame than the XKX 520, or is it the XKK 520? I can't remember. Regardless, <clears throat> they're all capable of flying in wind. This has been a windy day. I, I, over the years, have gotten more confident in flying in wind. I don't recommend that you guys fly in much more than five mile an hour winds, especially if you're a newer pilot. But if you've been out there for a while, get a plane in the air, even if it's a little windy, and see what you can do. Don't let the wind scare you too much. I don't want you to <clears throat> comment below that you've crashed your plane because you tried flying in some wind. Only push to your own comfort level, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I like pushing my comfort level a little bit. It's the only way you really get better in the hobby. Let's do a loop with this guy. Now, if you guys made it this far in the video, give me a like for this loop, or just give me a like because you like our videos. Those thumbs up on our videos and just leaving a comment, just say, hey, or uh, enjoyed the video, they go a long way on YouTube. So YouTube earnings are going down and <clears throat> We kind of need your support to help us out to maintain what we're able to do for you guys in the RC hobby. If you enjoy it and you don't want to support us financially or maybe you're just not able to, leave a like. That helps a lot. But to our patrons, as we were saying in the other <coughs> video, you guys are hooking us up with a new camera so that everybody can enjoy the content totally free. Totally free. Abby, oh, what one's to, uh, at least to watch flying, did you enjoy watching the most? Delta Ray 1. Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty fast, isn't it? Yeah, it's fast. You were able to do the most maneuvers with it. Oh, okay. That was my favorite to watch okay. fly. Well, I think that one might be the most, maybe the most fun to fly, but the XK has the ability to throw that switch and go vertical. And I really like that. Who would expect to be, you know, you watch your plane flying through the air and boom, throw a switch and it just starts hovering. That's pretty cool on a budget plane. Now, the reason we're doing this video and the other budget planes we've done on the channel just very recently, is because we're kind of gearing up. Look at that porpoising. Oh, that's just me being a horrible pilot at gliders. We're gearing up to do some hopefully better planes on the channel very soon. And, and with that little whiny cry in the background, that's the video. <laughs> yeah, let me land this. Amelia's awake from her nap, so I'm gonna catch the plane. Oh, I missed that. Sorry. <laughs> Just waking up from her nap. <laughs> tell everyone, tell Amelia thanks for letting us do the video and flying all four planes. <laughs> well, I'd like to know, and I think Amelia wants to know too, in the comments below, what was your favorite plane of the group and why? And if you could only have one, which one would it be? I think everybody would like to know that while we're scrolling through the comments. And as I said, if you made it this far in the video, please, just for the sake of RC planes in general, leave us a like on that video. If you made it this far, just hit like on the video and maybe share it with a friend that likes RC planes too because we covered a whole variety in one video. It's very unlike us to do that. Most of the time, we cover one product in one video. So, maybe some feedback for that too. We don't get to see Amelia enough, do we, on the channel? <laughs> she wants to fly, I think. Amelia, Earhart, Amelia Sailor. <clears throat> Seven months old now. Okay, she doesn't know bye yet, so Abby's gonna have to do this. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!
Bye-bye. Say bye.